Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. If you enjoy this series, please like and subscribe, it really helps out. And let's get right into this. Woohoo, starting off with another dream. Seems like we're in some sort of junkyard. The lights, like always. Huh. We got the musicians again. Alright, let's see what's down this way. Seems like the dreams are like getting bigger, like like there's more space in them. Alright. So I guess we're gonna double back the way we came in. Oop. Try and find more music people. Ooh, power lines. Walking on power lines is one of my favorite things in this game. It is a little too bad that you gotta jump on them though. Because you go hella slow if you don't. It's a place we haven't been before, which is nice to know. Alright. So, assuming it's like last time, that'll be three out of four. Alright. So, this time I'm gonna go not through the power lines, because clearly we know what's there. I think just heading this way will be best. Ah. Ah, uh, for a second I thought that, um, power pole thingy was, um, was a barrier, but glad it's not. We got that light, which I'm pretty sure those are signaling to us where we're supposed to go to find the people. Oh, the water here is so beautiful. I wonder if we can jump in it. I'ma give it a shot. Yo, we can run on water. I'm Cat Jesus. And then this... Saxophone. I wonder where I'm supposed to go now. Okay, if it's like last time, we have to go back to the starting place. I hope I haven't lost track of, but I think I have. Alright, yeah, there's a light in the top right, so let's go that way. Okay, yeah, now it wants us to go up and left, so we'll use these things to parkour. It wants us to go up more, but I'm not seeing a path to get up. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, that's not a jump I can- okay. So we can go up via here. All right. I'm guessing this will be the end of the dream. Okay, now it's just straight above us. Let's see how we'll get there though. I 
suppose I'll go this way for a bit to try and figure out how to get up there. Oh, right, right, here it is, yeah. And then through the wall, and we're back to the junkyard. All four of the lights are lit up, so let's see what kind of... It's like a squirrel this time. Here we are waking up. And it's kind of weird. I think they normally have like a little guitar sound, but they didn't do it this time. Let's start off with some bass. Let's do Die Anywhere Else today. Alright, that started off really good, but uh, I kind of fell off at the end. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to do maybe one more. No, nah, later. Alright. Let's head around and do our day. I feel like I'm running faster than normal. Maybe it's just in the dream I was super slow. <sighs> Morning, long night. Yup. Yeah. Remember those big robots from the food donkey? <laughs> you were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing a boring adult stuff. What kind of stuff? I'm adult stuff. 
just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Alrighty. I really feel like she has more pep in her stuff than usual. Anyway, today I suppose I'll um say hey to B. And if she's not around, then I think I'm gonna say hey to um Greg. First let's talk to our good buddy Selmers. Totally, what's up, Selmers? Oh, you know, what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding on your seat in junior year. Not falling in a trash can and puking yourself. Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. That one. Um, I'm going to say hey, those fruit snacks thingies. Yo, yeah, fruit snacks are the best. We used to eat them in grade school. I love fruit snacks. Oh, right, yeah, those are really good. Like, when I was a little kid, I preferred, like, candy candy, but honestly, nowadays, fruit snacks are, like, the best thing ever. I could eat, like, a whole meal that is just fruit snacks. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. That sounds like a lie, but okay. Wanna hear a new poem? I love Selmer's poems. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Geez, these are all, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. Honestly, like, he's not a good poet, but that was a lot better than his others. I can taste the atomic dino o snacks and the blisker squeezer. Thanks. Selmers is the best. I think Mr. Cha Vakov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right off the stoop one day. I think this is Mr. Chowatsuhatsu. I don't know what a stoop is, but this looks like it could be it. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. You know what? Good talk, good talk. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna stop by and say hey to B real quick. I'm gonna see if I can talk to this dog. Frick, that's probably a rabbit anyway. No, I'm gonna head through down here today. I haven't been down this way in a while. And it is hella awesome. There's a fishing guy. Hey oh. Wife long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. This man just casually being a better poet than Selmer's. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. Okay, Ooh, what's this? Can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. <laughs> yeah. That's why young people should vote. Anyone out there, you should you should vote if you can. It's a good idea. Oh, hello, May. I don't know if this is a pothead in their 20s or an old... Well, given this stand, it's probably an old lady in her 70s. But, like, if I just saw the dog without the previous context of old people, I'd have no clue which one this was. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Hmm. 
I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. Yeah, people don't tend to remember the day after they're born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How do you know my granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime? And I'll tell you about him. Things you might not know. All right, you've got my interest. Uh, sweet, curious child. All righty, it looks like we're gonna stop by this old lady sometimes and learn about our granddad. Ooh, what's this thing? Amazing to think these things used to run. All the trains are abandoned? That's too bad. Public transport is amazing. It's the best. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's graffiti. Hello, graffiti. Holy shit. The dudes, someone hecked up the dudes. Who did this? Why did they do it? Yo, that's so sad. Thought Nuke Possum Springs. All right. So I suppose we should. Oh right, right. You gotta go on the stairs if you wanna go up them. That's big logic right there. All right. Hello, um. Ferret or otter? Hey, CJ. Yeah? You were like high school when I was in- Yo, she's just like that one girl who was calling her a killer in like episode one of the early ones. Oh, huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, I'm just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband is driving down tomorrow. What do you- what do you do now? Lawyer? Yo, fucking nerd. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Hey, you see here. <laughs> like, would you dig a tunnel through the wall or like attack a guard or take their pants and identity? Or just, I don't know, cause a riot or something? Uh, what's the best? best prison game like if you had to pick you know we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school what's the point of going to college if you don't learn useful shit laws are pretty useful useful my ass cj sorry welcome back have a nice visit bye uh see ya okay that wasn't awkward at all I head this way because I wanted to go see B. I think B was this way at least. Oh, old pickaxe. Yeah, this is where B is. Hey, what's up? Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. Well, that smoking sure will do it. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. 
What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm just like super tired because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I don't own the store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you owned this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally, make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from this store. And bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that's, that got intense. Ugh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. Can I do nothing too? Fine. So are we doing this? I'm not sure, got a couple other stops to make. <laughs> Shit! I meant to hit the next button. Anyway, um... I think I'm gonna call it an episode. I'm gonna talk to this guy and then call it an episode. Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna call it an episode there. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really helps out. Next time, we're gonna be hanging out with B, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.